Good day, my beautiful people. My name is Roman Singer Hall, and this is the Best of Evergreen San Jose Show. And at the Best of Evergreen San Jose Show, we talk real estate, we talk local small business, and you know we talk the best of Evergreen San Jose, California. And in this episode, we introduce you to Lake Cunningham Park and one of the biggest skate parks in California. Let's do it. Nice. I trained at Mark Twan, the freshman year at Mount Pleasant, playing drums together. He's in theology right now, but we're at this amazing skate park in Lake Cunningham, right? How long have you been uh, working here? Uh, I've been I've been here for about over a year. But what do you think, man? How sick is this? How long has this uh, developed? Did you kind of watch this grow? So I remember as a kid, I used to come in all the time, play volleyball, hang out. Um, but right there, this is this is like a, a, a dirt park, oh, yeah. right? For, for for bikes. So it's separate. So we got a total bike park and then complete skate park. And uh, well, uh, one thing I was saying, so it's the largest skate park in California. That's nuts. I feel like it's the best kept secret. I guarantee so many people go to MP, go to Evergreen, don't even know this thing's here, right? Yeah, that's one of the things that we actually have about this is uh, a lot of people uh, out of town, they know about it, they go online, they see what's going on, but uh, a lot of people in San Jose actually really don't know that this is actually at uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. And when you drive by, they have no idea too. And that's exactly why we're doing things like this, so people know. Uh, check, check, check out this view here. we got all these youngins. Going crazy, right? Yeah. Some people would think that's a bad thing, but in my opinion, what else would they be doing? Hanging out, getting into trouble, right? So then to have outlets like this and have a you know a skate park to call home would be awesome. Did you get those uh, lights? So that that tells me that we're open at a uh, night too. Yeah, so we're open from uh, well, our largest hours are from nine to nine. Yeah, they're kind of crazy, right? Monday, Tuesday is closed. I've seen that. Yeah. Right? So that's our fall session. So we actually start at three o'clock and then we close at nine. And you guys know around nine o'clock it gets really dark. So we have these lights and it actually lights up the whole skate park. Sweet. So Sweet. It's awesome. Arthur, do you have any idea besides City of San Jose who did all this? I know some awesome person somewhere must have donated or had the idea or brought it up. Well, the city of San Jose they actually came together and they, you know, got got some sponsors and stuff like that uh, to to get actually everything together. Uh, I know I know Rose's term to send it. She's a district A Rose Herrera, but I'm sure she had a lot to do with this. So thank you, Rose, if you're watching. I know Sylvia's uh, uh, in charge now. So uh, pretty self-explanatory. Was it was it 68 million square feet? That makes sense. Something like that makes it the largest skate park in California. Uh, there are, are are they expanding? Any kind of plan? That was pretty new. So the, the expansion is actually the bike park. So the skate park alone is the largest outdoor skate park in California. And then we're building around it um, a bike park, which is going to be uh, one of the biggest ones in this area. Um, I think there's only another there's only another dirt pipe park um, up north, but actually in the Bay Area, this is this is. And, and this all the way through is dirt. But the thing you're talking about is a whole trail course. I'll take a picture of it after, but. Uh, it kind of, you know, you got grass and then you'll be able to jump on some wood, come down, another kind of a, a trail in that way, right? Yeah. That's the other part that they're expanding on. Well, sick. besides that, one other thing, if anybody's watching or listening, I know it changes, you probably don't even uh, know this off top, but for any moms who are watching, what are, what are the fees like? What's it like for a day? I know it, uh, it changes. I put it down right here. Do you know? So the fees are... Oh, it's are... free for Marquand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, come check me out. Uh, but no, for seriously, our our our, uh, our prices are uh, right now uh, for youth is three dollars, and then we have a pad rental. Um, this facility is great, and, and parents love this facility for the fact that we require all our skaters um, participating in, in the, uh, the the barred area mm -hmm. to Wait, have sign uh, up, sign a waiver form. You're good we to go. Helmet, elbow, and knee pads. Right. And if you don't have those, we provide those for five dollars. So if you're a youth and you need pads or helmet or whatever, um, it's a total of eight dollars. And then for adults, uh, it's five dollars plus the rental fee if you ha if you don't have pads. And then that's ten dollars. So from ten dollars to three dollars, 
you're, you're good to go and, and ready right. to well, well, we're, we're just joining us. Uh, I run to Martin and go, wait a minute. We go to high school together, <laughs> freshman year at Mount Pleasant. He looks at me and goes, band. <laughs> yeah, we were those band nerds. Absolutely. I love drums. I play drums. You played uh, as well, Yeah. right? Uh, just to go off topic, I grew up in the East and I played drums all my life. Did you, where'd you go to middle school? I went to Alcala Middle School. Oh, got it, got so it. Right down the street from Mount Pleasant. Austin, awesome. played there, but Austin. Awesome. You're just joining us, we're at Lake Cunningham Skate Park, the biggest skate park in California. And even if you've never learned right, this would be a great place. So what are some other things? I, I see you could take lessons here. Uh, let's get a shout out to hardworking Linda. Look at Linda, well, Linda. <laughs> But, uh, can you take lessons here? I saw something like that. So, so what we have is uh, you were talking about the uh, events and stuff that we have. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. On Friday nights we have live bands. Uh, actually, we kind of finished our last summer bracket, and we'll be looking at having some other people come in. Uh, hopefully during the fall. So Friday nights we'll have bands here. College Fridays. Uh, college Fridays free. Yeah. Free know, for awesome. any college student. If you're a college student, you can prove you have your ID or whatever. Uh, bring it on in, and you can actually skate for free. Rental you, uh, pads, you're gonna have to pay for those, but the right. entrance is gonna be free. Right. And um, if you're if you're a starving band, like we were musicians, hit them up. You, it's another place for you to play. Oh, favorite Red Hot Chili Pepper song just came out <laughs> in the, the background here. Uh, all right, so let's see. So we got that. What's okay? Or do we have any competitions and stuff? So competitions, actually, we have a big one that's coming up. Um, I believe it's the second weekend in September, um, and it's a, it's a very huge event. Pro skaters come out here. Actually, if you come on a, on a daily basis, uh, later on in the evening, a lot of our pro skaters, they actually just skate around, and you probably will never notice who they are because they're just normal guys like you and us, but that's, when they get on the, them, when they get on the skateboard Humble. and do their thing, they you can tell they're pros. Kids are screaming. So. You'll hear noise. Yeah. Right? Uh, any uh, limitations? Obviously, no no alcohol. Uh, check out the rules and regulations while I keep making a clean spot, right? Have to take care of uh, this park. Anything else some kid needs to know? So scooters are allowed. Bikes are separate. Or you can bring your bike on here. Oh, you more. can bring everything. We, okay. we have a uh, skateboard, scooters, bikes. Um, that's all available. Yep. Um, we have those for rent too. So if you if you don't have uh, that personally, uh, we, we have that. We also buy all those things and we can order those things. Awesome. How lucky am I got Martwan? I was like, oh, what if there's somebody that doesn't drop knowledge and he's just dropping knowledge. So, my man, very lucky to have you, Martwan. Appreciate you, brother. What uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, so you probably know better than me. This is called a, the big, big tone here. Oh. Buy all those things and we can order those things. Awesome. How lucky am I got Martwan? I was like, oh, what if there's somebody that doesn't drop knowledge and he's just dropping knowledge. So, my man, very lucky to have you, Martwan. Appreciate you, brother. What uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh, so you probably know better than me. This is called a the big big tunnel here. We'll oh, walk around. Should we just walk? Let's walk. Yeah, check it out, right? Let's, let's do it. That's the whole point. Uh, that's what I was trying to pull up right now because that's called some type of pipe. Obviously, my knowledge. Yeah, so it's actually called a pool. There we go. So the the wonderful thing about this park is that it's in progression and there's a variety of so a lot of things. So it is. I saw that. That looked so cool. So potentially. Probably the best of best could go up and the goal is to do a whole Oh yeah. Full circle yeah, full around. Circle. And then for our, our, our Pokemon Go people, <laughs> this is actually a Pokemon gym. So there is a Pokemon gym. Nice. In the <laughs> Guess that is it. That's pretty awesome. This is what it's about, man. I mean, at the end of the day, you're staying busy, you're doing something good. I think um, you know, even a lot of professional skaters are good people are just uh, what's the word? People are silly. People are gonna judge anyways. But any outlet that you have, right? You know, skills, all the craft, and how to find yourself. It's always better than doing something else, right? Being on the street, getting oh, in yeah. trouble. That's the part we miss here. The big picture is yeah, it's just, so it was, uh, it's just so sick. Keep people busy. Friends you meet here, right? The Absolutely. The, the great thing about this part there that, that I love about it, uh, besides you know seeing all these wonderful structures, is that uh, it becomes a community. A lot of these uh, skaters, they, they come out here as friends. Uh, their parents end up, you know, connecting and being friends and hanging out with each other. And the pro skaters um, are a lot, not pro, but the skaters are a lot older, looking after the young ones. Oh, yeah, ones yeah, and, yeah. Um, and, and even our pro skaters, a lot of our pro skaters, they'll see a young person and they'll, you know, they'll 
they'll pour into them. They'll say, hey, you know, I seen that you did this. Well, let's try this. Yeah. And you know, they, they also help out too. So. And that's the whole goal of this. If one person, if you share this uh, Facebook Live video and some pro skater out there who loves to give back finds out, you might hop in the car, hop in the plane, come out and say, let's just, let's just ride today, right? Yeah, absolutely. And everybody come out. And that's the goal. That's the whole, uh, um, whole reason you want to spread the word. You want to put Evergreen San Jose on the map, right? Um, bro, should we keep walking? Yeah, bro. Yeah, we can keep on walking. Uh, can, you, can you hear us okay? How are we doing? Give it any shout outs to anybody? There's a lot of people joining? Awesome. Oh, there you go. Who is that again? Mike Dot Pedrati. Mike Dot Look at that future right there. Awesome, awesome. So, one of the other things a lot of kids out there. Yes, on, on, oh, our, they know. on our websites, you'll see some of the videos they post and some of the things that they comment. I saw a frame hanging uh, uh, sign that looked like a super young kid. I'll look my way out. I guess what pamphlets used to be. You know what I'm talking about? So, there is a. Well, there's actually a few things over in the shop. We have. Uh, we actually have a trophy from uh, a skater that is uh, passed passed away and actually they, they, they do an event here um, and then also there's uh, those pictures that you see uh, in the shop are actually pro skaters that have came here and they've autographed and you know uh, so legit yeah so people, so any skater is in the bay in SF you stop by here right yeah definitely and, and definitely. if you want to make sure your, your time is worth hit you guys up and then all the kids will come out right they'll put something out I love how contained it is Martin it's like, uh, it's kind of over here. Parents want to walk by. It's all good, you know. Yeah. The kids will run into these bars <laughs> instead of people, right? Yeah. Uh, so, so that that this is part of the policy is we have these 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 rails for uh, when we say you need to wear your full pads, as right. in uh, this sign right here. It says help, you know, helmet, elbow, and knee pads required. L C R S P. I yeah. love it. So that's Lake Cunningham Amber Jewel Skate Park. And thank you, City of San Jose and, and the council members for thinking about this because, again, I mean, that's what we got a ban. I, I, you know, I went into sports, but we always underestimate, like, you know, if you're from the East, if you went to Palo Middle School, mm -hmm. like I did, if you just, you need something to do, man, some kind of outlet. Because uh, if you don't, like I said before, you're going to find something to do and you're usually going to be in trouble, right? Oh, absolutely. A lot, a lot of times they don't have that positive outlet, yes, that outlet or, you know, things to do. Uh, they, they do get into trouble. Those are the ones yeah, that you know, The classic pool right here. Yeah. So this is deep, this, dude. Take a this, look. Get in here. That's, that's, I'm getting scared right now. Just, just look at that. So, so this, is, this is the famous skull bowl. Okay. Skull ball. Okay. Oh, it looks like a head of a skull. It actually looks like a head of a skull. Thanks. And what happens is actually here, a lot of our pro skaters, they'll hang out in this area. And then this is where they do a lot of their work. Um, you can see you won't see a lot of people jumping in there right away. Right? Yeah. So, it, it, there, there's, and actually, there's a lot of young people that actually get into it. Yeah. They've started over there in the, in the small, uh, uh, small bowls, and then they progress to, to this ultimately. But, uh, you know, on, on a normal evening, uh, you know, uh, you'll see a lot of adults over here getting major air uh, off, off of the, the skull bowl. Um, you see there's a shallow end and then it drops down into an even deeper end. Yeah. Um, and, and there's just, there's just, you, there's let's so get, much fun. Let's get a shot of those uh, summer, summer hours real quick. Maybe it's watching. So we got Monday through Friday, 12 to 9, Saturday, Sunday, 9 to 9. Is that still uh, solid, March on? I think maybe online is probably old. Is there Monday, Tuesday, 12, maybe not winter or something like that? Those are our summer hours, and those are going to end on the 20th. 20th of and August. then what's going to happen is after the 20th, then it'll go to that that schedule that you're talking about on Monday and Tuesday are closed, and we open up at 3 o'clock, awesome. Wednesday to Friday. Awesome. And then on uh, Saturday and Sundays, we'll, we'll open at 9, and then end at 9. We'll close all day. My, my last question, these little uh, black things here, this is what I love. So there's things all around. Kids can grab them, be creative, oh, yeah. do whatever you want. And the city of San Jose stuff. I saw those orange construction things. Oh, yeah. Use them, jump over them. So we're sparking the imagination, man. I just want to say uh, it was meant to be. All right, to Martuante, thank you so much, man, for stopping by, dropping knowledge for us. We're at Lake Cunningham Skate Park. You know, end that live video. But the whole point of this is come out here and use this, right? You guys are paying your taxes. 
uh, make use of it. It's here for you. And you got gentlemen like Marton who are here to uh, help you guys out. So anyone who's involved with this, you know who you are. I uh, just want to say thank you. Big Cunningham Skate Park. Peace.